Okay, apparently this guy is the latest TikTok sexy man. He is the milkman from the game That's Not My Neighbor. It's a game where you're a doorman and you're not supposed to let doppelgangers in. And apparently, this is the most simple character in the game. Really guys? The milkman? And that's crazy because he looks like he only gets 2 hours of sleep every day. He looks like he's been dead inside for 10 years. And holy crap, no wonder he wears a hat. He's got a McDonald's hairline. But anyway, I kinda get it. He's still hot. But could he? He be hotter. Let us see. Let us begin the Yasifying process. Let's copy paste real quick. So I'm gonna select him and then remove the background. Okay, first things first. His collar looks a little too tight on him. Can he even breathe properly? Let me help him loosen it up a little bit. Oh yeah, that's better. Now let's draw him some juicy collar bones. The neck, of course. Another thing are his eyes. Now he has very sleep deprived eyes. Now we're not gonna change that because that's what makes him smegzy. And he's not gonna be the milkman anymore, is he? One thing I I will change though are those paper thin lips. Why did y'all even hype him up when he doesn't even have lips anyway? So we're just gonna airbrush some definition. Next we're gonna add some shadows on the right side of the face. Anyway, he looks like he's starving, which doesn't make sense because he literally delivers the milk bro. Why not just drink it or turn it into cheese or something? So now we're gonna make his neck thicker just to make him look more filled out. Okay, this is what we have so far. Trust the process, y'all. For the eyes, let's use a lasso tool to shape the eyebrows even more. Another thing, like I always say, before doing a hat or hair or something, you first need to make them bald. Yeah, he looks like a mashed potato right now. I get it. Let's add some hair again. Let's add the crazy McDonald's hairline back on. What in the narrow clavicles? Okay, now let's make his shoulders broad. Hashtag double door refrigerator. Okay, so at this point, I'm not gonna make any changes yet because we need to work on the face first. Because literally, what the hell is that? First, let's make his eyes smaller. That way, his face looks more mature. And then for the nose, just add a triangle like this. Okay, now let's add the hat back on. Anyway, he looks like he has jaundice. I want to make him look like a dead body, okay? So let's pick a more desaturated tone and airbrush it real quick, just to even out the skin tone. Now let's draw the eyes back on. The best way to make your drawing look more detailed is to layer your shadows like this. Don't just go in with pure black, okay? Just layer little by little. This gives more volume to the eye. Now it looks more sunken in and dead inside, which is exactly what we're going for. So let's add some colors to the lips as well. As you can see by the colors, he looks like he's wearing dead person makeup. Oh yes. Anyway, when he's facing like this, the eyelashes face downward. So let's just draw it downward real quick. Okay, then just add the other side real quick. Now let's work on the neck. When you're shading the neck, you are not shading a freaking cylinder, okay? The neck has muscles like this. So there are two major muscles that connect at the middle like this. I'm not an anatomy teacher, so that's all I gotta say. Just keep that in mind to give some juicy definition on the neck. Okay, okay, this is our progress so far. Not bad, not bad. Anyway, like I said, I am layering some more shadows in the face. If shadows are hard for you, use a reference so you know what the face looks like when light hits it, okay? Don't just use your stupid brain. And also, don't overdo it. Anyway, let's take off the hat once again. I'm gonna work on the hairline. So, as you can see, I am working on his hair strand by strand. Now, is the hat going to cover this later on? Yes. So, does that mean that what I'm doing is absolutely useless? Yes. Am I stupid? Yes. Okay, the reason why I'm doing this is because A, I might change my mind later on and remove the hat, and also B, it serves as a guideline for the hair that isn't covered by the hat. See, look at this. I'm adding some stray hair over here that goes over his eyebrows. Why? Because it's sexy. That's why. Without the hairline, it's gonna be harder for me to do that. And also the hair above the ears, bro. See, look at that. The devil is in the details, okay? Anyway, I'm gonna add a dark background so we can see the excess. So let me just remove it real quick using this multi-layer eraser. Okay, I'm gonna add a small light to the left to make him stand out even more. So let's add this period blood red background and make it gradient. See? Now it looks like his graduation photo and he majored in smexiness. I don't know guys. One last time, let's add a shadow again. Okay, now if you think the eye is already okay, you are wrong. We need to add longer lashes because that's what's good. So I'm basically adding this spiky effect to the eyelashes. A lot of people say this is weird, but I like it. Deal with it. So let's add it to the lower lashes as well. Bam! Now he can poke me with his eye. So I ain't doing all that again. So let's just copy and paste. Oh, 
Alright, and then let's erase the lighting changes. Alright. Alright, so let's not forget how to juicify the lips like so. I'm adding a lot of shadow on the upper part. And overall, I'm just making the lower part puffy and juicy. Oh yes. Now let's work on the suit. When painting the clothes, please, I am begging you to just use the basic round brush. And also, no crazy wrinkles, okay? A lot of people draw a lot of wrinkles to the clothes, thinking that it looks more aesthetic that way. But guys, it just makes your character look homeless. Like, does your character not iron their clothes or something? Okay, let's just render this some more. Alright, I think that's pretty decent. Not too many homeless wrinkles. Now let's work on the hat. Since the hat is a bit glossy, we're gonna use pure black. And then we're gonna add some reflections like this. There we go, glossy. Let's add some shadows real quick. Okay, that's it for now. Okay, going back to the eyes again. Let's make him have a blurry iris. Let's give him some astigmatism eyes. Oh yes. Also, I'm using this Salamanca brush to blend his face together. We just want to smoothen his face out okay give him a free facial anyway we're gonna add a white line like this to make the hat really pop out and look glossy then we're just gonna trace the lettering real quick so i'm basically just tracing the initials okay light work all right okay so we are not finished yet apparently this guy has other versions like this what the hell is that let us attempt to give him the scary face real quick first we're gonna make his eyes pure black Ooh, that actually looks cool not gonna lie okay then we're gonna give him the voldemort treatment no nose oh and also no lips as well oh my gosh oh my gosh that is a huge ass smile you can fit a whole foot in that mouth holy crap okay so two white dots for the eyes okay okay last one i'm gonna make him cry tears and not just water tears okay edgy blood tears Ooh, edgy and there we go so this is the og milkman as you can see this guy is sleep deprived absolutely zero lip volume disgusting and then here is the after bam eyes are still sleep deprived but like in a sexy way and then we actually have some juicy lips this time oh yes and then bam the horror version i guess i mean it's pretty nice but there needs to be another version am i right this isn't enough hmm what can it be Ooh, i know all right mommy hope you guys like this video watch this next one I'll see you there stay cool